in the finance literature there are a number of American option pricing models. In many instances these models are um, approximations. In fact I think they are all approximations um, other than if you use numerical techniques. But uh, American options are different to European options in that American options can be exercised at any stage during the life of the option. Uh, whereas we have a closed form solution, an exact closed form solution for European options and uh, we use generally the Black-Scholes model. For Amer American options we rely on approximations. Um, so come down here for a moment. The problem of finding the price for an American option is related to the optimal stopping problem or finding the time to execute the option. So ex ante, when you look ahead to the future and you're trying to determine the value of an American option, you also have to have some sense at what point the option is optimal to exercise. And this is not trivial. So uh, what I plan to do here is just set up very quickly a, a few of the more popular models. So our uh, Baron Addisi Whaley, and I'm going to take Berkson and Stanislaw in a separate video, but just Baron Addisi Whaley, I have some code, a C++ code from the original fill up the website. The Unfortunately, um, the original site is gone um, and um, um, the newer sites that have emerged using develop the name don't quite, don't have the same amount of code or scale of code, but I have some code from the original uh, Fabrice Rua uh, website and I'm going to set that up in uh, Visual Studio and I have on this computer I have installed Visual Studio um, 2017. So to get um, to set up the uh, estimation here I just say file new file new and then project and then I use again the um, it used to be a bit different here when we were estimating uh, C++ and we were looking to set out a console application. But um, when we we're estimating C++ um, and we just want to enter code, we go to Visual C++, come down to General, hit here Empty Project. I'm going to put in Baron to see Whaley okay and I'm going to say um, original full up there and the, the code I've taken here is from the original full up the website so let's just click OK and uh, the project has been created and then I look for uh, to put in source files and header files and again I just come over here I right click and add and then existing item and the existing item I'm going to take from code that I've already have available here in um, American Oct approximations so a baron Addisi Whaley so I just have the files and I want because I'm adding source files I just uh, hold down the control key and then select the files with the file extension C CPP they're the source files and I ignore the other ones so it's those three and I just add and then I come over here and to the header files I right click add existing item and I include in call down the control key and highlight baw.h blackshows.h and structures.h and just add and again this code is coming from the original um, Volupta website okay and I have a look at uh, the code here and we need to exclude generally with the Volupta 
it's already done, but you need to exclude this stdafx.h and make sure that there are no issues there. So they seem to be gone. And I think that'll just run. Um, might need to put in um, pause as well. Okay, I have system pause here also. Okay, so let's just run that. And I guess I should get the output appearing the screen. Okay, so for different uh, spot prices, I get the European price based on Black Shoals. I get the American price based on uh, Baron Addisi Whaley. The difference between the two prices, the exercise premium is given here. And then the, there's a critical price, which is essential to estimating the Baron Addisi Whaley. And that's done uh, using Newton Rapton um, technique. Um, okay, in you will find in the a link below the video here on YouTube. I will leave a hyperlink to the source code. You can download the folder, and then just set up the technique the way I've set it up here.